And we're gonna break this down, trim it up, and have a beautiful filet here. We'll have to make some steaks tonight. So let's see what we got. So guys, don't forget when you're going through the strap at the end, save this meat that you can harvest. I'm gonna harvest mine tonight for uh, fajitas. And I'm actually uh, saving the beef fat because I'm gonna fry some uh, potatoes in it later. And um, so I'm gonna render some of that fat down in the pan here. And I'm gonna save some of the meat for fajitas. So this is really good stuff. Don't throw it out whenever you get a strap. So as you can see folks, uh, if you take your time cleaning the chain off of the strap, uh, what you're going to get is, uh, in our case I have uh, probably about 10% of the strap that I have would have been thrown out. I'm now saving for fajita meat. So take your time on that chain, <clears throat> try to trim out as much uh, fat, sinew and uh, silver skin as you can. Put it in a bag labeled fajita meat and date that bag so you know when you put it in the freezer and put it in the freezer. You got yourself a whole nother meal there out of your strap. There you go. You're welcome. We need a side dish with our uh, filet. So we're going to make some garlic mashed potatoes. And here we go. Just sort of want to show you guys what this is. Uh, that is the trimmings from the strap. That's all the sinew, the fat, silver skin, barely any meat, whatever was left. I rendered it down. I have this beautiful fat. Oops, I have a fire. Isn't that nice? Glad I have that on camera. Oh, I guess the important thing is don't panic. Anyway, uh, we have this uh, beautiful fat right here that we are frying our potato skins in. These are the potatoes that we are mashing and having with uh, dinner. Uh, but we're frying the skins in the tallow, which was rendered from the beef fat. Good stuff. 